Hello, how you doing? So I promised you a better review of the Moto G6 Forge for Cricut. So the first thing I want to tell you guys is that this uh, Moto G6 Forge is called everywhere else the Moto G6 Play, okay? But there's one difference between the Play for the prepaid phones and the Play and the regular Moto G6 Play. and it actually uh, crippled a lot of the, not a lot, but some of the features, all right, guys? So the first thing I want to tell you guys is that you can find the Moto G6 Play in different carriers as a prepaid phone. The first one, of course, is the Cricket Wireless, right? $19.99. But also Verizon have it for $129.99. Boost Mobile have it for $129.99. And lastly, Virgin Mobile have it for $129.99. So, right off the bat, this one is cheaper and it's the same. All right, so what's the difference between the Moto G6 Play and the Moto G6 Forge? The Moto G6 Play, the regular one, the unlocked version, first of all is the price. The unlocked version costs $199.99, all right? That's the regular Moto G6 Play. What features are you getting for $100 more? First of all, it's gonna be unlock, all right? So you can use it for any carrier. But then you're gonna get double the storage and you're gonna get three gigs instead of two gigs. All the rest is pretty much the same. So the question I'm asking you guys is, do you think it's worth it to pay an extra $100 for double the storage and another gig of RAM? To be honest, well, and actually the fact that it's being unlocked, you know? So that's up to you guys. I did try to unlock this phone and I was not successful. So, you know, I'm seeing some videos online that people unlock the phone. I don't know if they did it. I mean, they did it probably before, but in this specific case, I tried with two different ways to unlock this phone, the Moto G6 Forge, and I was not successful. So. That's, you know, I'm just letting you know, guys, that chances are this uh, affordable phone from Cricket is not going to be unlockable, you know, as far as I know. But who knows, maybe in the near future, there are going to be ways to unlock it. Motorola has a different family of, of G6 phones. So many versions, guys, you know, the regular G6, the G6 uh, Plus, and then they have, uh, now they, they came out with, the the G5S and the G5 Plus. The question is, how can these devices that has a, a small number, you know, five instead of six, are more expensive? That doesn't make sense, Motorola. You need to, you know, keep the versions accordingly to the number you are you're using. You know, so that's confusing. You know, and this is the the famous Moto G4, the one we love. And by the way, guys. When the Moto G4 came out, it used to have the same specs, or pretty much the same specs as, as the unlocked version. But now you can clearly see that Moto is really crippled the specs for the prepay phones. All right, so that's something to notice. What else? And then they have the the Amazon Prime exclusive. So it's a lot of stuff, a lot of versions there, guys. So it's easy to confuse you. I don't like that, especially when you call the the phones the same name, okay? But again, the main difference that I can see between the unlocked version and the Moto and the prepaid Moto G6 Play, it's you know the storage from 16 to 32 and the RAM for two gigs to three gigabytes. The screen is the same, everything is the same. The battery, a gray battery, by the way. All right, so that's the first thing I wanted to start this review. Let's say you decided to buy the Moto G6 Play, the $200 version, right? Is that $200 well spent on that phone? Or are there other phones that can compete in that category of the $200, which is a, an affordable category, right? Well, there's a, a user that put a comment on one of my videos, and he mentioned a couple of phones. Uh, you know, I can take a look, but right off the bat, I remember the Honor 7X can pretty much compete with the Moto G6 Play unlock, you know? So this is not, this is one of the choices for $200, but not the best. 
it's one of the options so you have to check the specs and how you're going to use it you know and, and then you make your decision all right so what is different about the moto is these features that you cannot find in other phones so you have the moto actions this is something to see quick screenshot touch and hold the screen with three fingers to capture a screenshot i mean you have to enable it right so let's try that guys three fingers i'm gonna touch it and you see it already captured the screenshot you know and uh okay so that one is working chop twice for flashlight you know you need to enable it too you know you can disable it or enable it turn the flashlight on and off with two chopping motions okay so let's see the flash is off so let's see and you have the flash two more and it's over let's do it again right so look the flash oh out okay cool twist your wrist twice quickly to open the camera anytime so quickly means and then you have the camera right there okay guys and you can take a picture so that's a nice uh, gesture. Swipe to shrink screen. Swipe down to the left or right to make the screen smaller for one-handed use. Oh, so you have to go all the way out. Yeah, so now it works, guys. You need to go all the way out, okay? Uh, tap in blur area to exit, boom. Okay, so again, guys, the middle, you need to go all the way out. So in order to do it, you can tap here to make it back. Pick up to stop ringing. Lift the phone to switch incoming calls from private. So let's say you're in the meeting, the phone is ringing, you can pick it up and it's gonna immediately start vibrating instead of that ring. Uh, what else? Flip for do not disturb. So basically, instead of putting the phone like this in the table, you're gonna put it like that and nobody's gonna disturb you, all right? That's the features that Moto phones have and some people love these features, all right? Uh, so that's one of the advantages. Let's see the camera, guys. Let's see the camera. Let's test the camera. All right. So this is the camera. Let's say I want to take a picture. And then how can I see that picture again? I think I can swipe from here. Yes. So from right to left, you swipe to see the picture that you take. Let me see if there's another picture here. And then I'm back to my picture. What happens if I swipe for the other side? If I swipe from left to right, I'm going to see the specs for the camera, you know. Shatter sound. So if you want the camera to make a, a sound when you take a picture or quick capture, twist twice to open or switch between front and back of the cameras. Yeah, that's the front. So let's see. That's about, it works. So you can twist it and you can switch from front to back. But of course you can also do this. So the question is what's easier for you? The twist or just pressing the button. All right, so let's keep going with this. Quick capture, safe location. This one is gonna record your location, so it's gonna turn on the GPS on your phone. Let's check this out. Photo size rear, 4.3, the aspect ratio, and this is 13 megapixels. What happens if we click on this? Now, they're giving you options. Now you can have a 16 by nine uh, aspect ratio, and you can see the megapixels. So if you switch to this, you're gonna have less megapixels, all right? You know, you select this if you want to save space on the phone, you know? You said tap anywhere to capture. Capture photos by tapping anywhere on the screen. So we can turn this on. You can drag this to focus on an element. Let's say I want you to focus on this, right? And you can also switch this to make it like darker or brighter, all right? Too bright okay Let's put it in the middle you know it's up to you so when you focus you can tap anywhere on the screen and you're gonna take a picture if you keep holding you see how many pictures I'm taking all right that's enough let's see what else guys um, assistive greed that's just a greed that you can see you know when you're taking a picture I don't think we need that video Okay, this is important. Video size, rear, full HD, 1080p, 30 frames per second. So if we click here, we can see what options do we have. We have also HD 720, the same 30 frames per second, or we can have VGA 480p, 30 frames per second. So if you click here, 
you have modes professional mode slow motion panorama video so you can do video here too now is this recording right now i don't think so some of the phones whenever you choose video they start recording immediately uh if we press here now we're going to start recording and you can see also a a counter here so that will tell you that it's recording video right now what happened if i try to switch the cameras will it work let's see no it did not work the flash was the top right so let's see no i think from when you're doing video it that doesn't work all right but i'm gonna stop it there and i'm gonna click here again so that's the video mode right uh professional mode so on professional mode you have the capability of changing the, the iso the brightness you know this one is what is this guys let's see i think this is the aperture guys yes this is the aperture and so you don't want it to you don't want to have it too open because now the photo is going to be really bright to be honest guys you know i'm not a professional but these are the tools that you can use if you're a professional if you know about this uh you can play with it i'm not going to play with that right now but just it's good to know that there's a professional mode so how can we get out of the professional mode we click on the three dots the three vertical dots and then you have slow motion I'm recording in a slow motion I don't think it's gonna do anything because we are not moving okay just good to have it panorama so what happened with the panorama panorama in any direction tap anywhere in viewfinder then move your phone in any direction to start panorama so you said again tap in any direction hmm okay so I'm gonna so let's see I want to go here I'm gonna tap in this direction okay so i'm gonna come here i'm gonna tap and i think it's recording now you can see how it's recording okay so that's the panorama i did that's the panorama okay on the photo right i want to know if there are some filters guys what is this oh this is the flash you can see off or auto i put auto you know what is this the timing you can set up like three seconds so three seconds let's say so when you press here it's gonna take one two three and then it's gonna take the picture all right okay so how can we change that let's see we hold it yes you click and hold it you need to avoid taking a picture put it off so this is the and what is this HDR you can have auto you can have on or off HDR uh -huh. this is the, the zoom the zoom in zoom out when you uh drag from bottom to top you can do a zoom in zoom out all right once you have the picture okay this is cool so you don't have it when you take the picture right uh it looks like you cannot have it when you take the pictures but after so it's a they process the picture after you do have the option of filters i mean you can share the picture delete it you get information about the picture when you took it you know and what settings you use and here are the filters I told you about original the auto correction West Palma Metro Eiffel blush Modena real Vogue Oli Bazaar Alpaca vista so these are the auto settings you have to modify your picture uh what else you have here guys the lighting you know you know color no color and then more color more saturated and then you have the pop okay so if you are happy with your changes then click here and save it all right and this one is to move it or crop it right so you can move it like this you know or crop it you can crop it too 
and again once you are finished you can click done and if you like it you can save it here i installed this app called untutu or something like this okay so this is the overall you know defeated six percent of users so this is people that use this app this phone only defeat six percent of the users so i'm mean, talking about a 2018 phone that can only defeat six percent of the users this is not good guys uh what else so the cpu department defeat 10 percent of the users okay what happened if we click here mathematics core common use multi-core so what, how about this guys defeated one percent of the users on gpu okay graphics hmm not good what is the defeat defeat 12 percent of the users what is a ux is that a user interface or what? UX, I don't know what it is. What is defeated 38% of the users, memory, 38%, hmm. There are more device details. Okay, so I'm gonna check this out. And this is the, what is this, average score? Nothing, but basic info. So the model is GSIG Forge, device, jetter, board, hardware, Android 8, Quad core processor, Adreno resolution 720 by 1440, camera 13 megapixels, storage. So we have not even two, the RAM is not even two gigs, guys. It's, uh, I'm using currently 10 gigs, only 8 gigs available. Internal storage, yes, yeah, same thing. CPU quad core cpu model quad core display adreno resolution size 5.7 inches density 320 dpi that's the density guys this is important the cameras 13 and 5 the battery capacity 4000 milliamps i'm sure we beat a lot of people on this one NFC not supported. I just downloaded this game. It's called Temple Run 2. It's an old one, but uh, a good one. An oldie, but goodie. So let's see how it runs on this phone. Downloading config. Install. Oh my god. Google Play Games. Why do I have to install this, guys? Open. Google Play. Pac-Man, Temporon 2, okay, play. All right, so we have that Google Play thing over, downloading content now. So you can see, guys, I'm in you know, Wi-Fi, I'm using Xfinity. My Wi-Fi is not the best, uh, but it's taking a little bit, guys. I'm already waiting to play the game. It's loading graphics and stuff. And here we go, guys. So let's see the speakers max out. Play. Okay. So I can see that it's going okay. Swipe to run. Try to slide, all right. So I have to tilt. Oh, almost. Double tap anywhere to activate power. Okay, I have the power now. Oh. Oh, look at these guys. They are close, so huh? monkeys or whatever creatures they are. Oh my God, the monkeys are, oh my.
So I'm just gonna play until I lost, guys, so which, which is probably gonna be soon. Which is right there. Okay, guys, so that's it. That's the temple one. How can I go, go out of here? Okay, good. Fingerprint on the back. Alright, guys, so I'll be back.